Hello Libras, welcome to your September reading. If this is your first time stopping by and if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. It does help me a lot to continue making these videos for you guys. Thank you so much. I do highly appreciate your love and support. I want to wish you all a great month and now let's get started with the first week. So I see you guys have worked really, really hard to create a good stability, a good base for yourself. You might own your own car, being paid off, or you're, you own your house, you have money saved, you're very secure, stable, you have a job, a career, a good reputation, you've built this reputation for yourself, and now you're just enjoying life, you're content, you're happy. Personally, on on uh, your own personal achievements, you're content. You're happy with whatever you have done for yourself. You've done pretty pretty good, pretty well. And a lot of you guys might have your own personal businesses. You're successful. Things are running smooth. Maybe it's not to the at the stage of having a um, huge business to the point when you can uh, inherit it to other to to your children or future generations you might not be quite there yet but for whatever you have done you are happy and you are content with with yourself i'm also feeling this is a week when um when you might spend some money to buy some luxury items just as i said just as a symbol of your status of your success of your achievements uh, for those of you who are in a relationship i'm feeling that this is become more of a business partnership, practical, it makes sense to be together, you've been together for a while, there's not that that fire that passion from the beginning maybe it's it has died down but still it makes sense because you have so many things in common and because you might have businesses together or you might have you know, property together or financially just makes much more sense to stay than, um, than to, to be separated. What I also am feeling for those of you who are single is that you're mainly working on yourself, on your career, on your financial freedom to the point when you might have neglected, um, being in a relationship because you know what you bring to the table, Libras, and you want the same thing. You're expecting the same thing from others as well. You want on that same level of commitment and uh, and financial success and stability that you want that that you have to to offer and in the second week i'm feeling that a lot of your plans might be canceled uh due to different circumstances outside circumstances so if you want to travel do it in the first week because i'm feeling the rest of the month is going to be a difficult time a lot of things might get delayed or or as i said canceled and you're not going to be able to do that even if you're planning to travel for work or if you're planning to travel just for pleasure still uh change those plans to the first week and what i'm feeling here in the second week is that things will move pretty slowly for most of you guys emails paperwork just this gonna be this sense of frustration because you want things to move quickly and you have plans and you have goals that you're trying to tackle and you're trying to accomplish and you're it, you're always falling behind on them and this is giving you this sense of frustration feeling very irritable and you want just things to work and run smoothly also what i'm feeling with um with the eight of wands is that for those of you who are single you might try to talk to different people and never really get the same kind of click or the same kind of energy you're feeling like oh i'm just wasting my time there's no real commitment there that the other person is showing you for you to move forward and it, that that is creating a lot of irritation as well and boredomness and also you're you're a little bit scattered uh libras there's a lot of things that you're trying to do at the same time so this might be a good time to prioritize and see okay where can what can i focus on what can i do to really help my situation or help me improve uh, improve be more productive have more energy not not <laughs> not the um, spreading yourself so thin might be might be the answer in this case and in the third week with the two of wands i'm feeling that someone will disappoint you guys 
this might be a person or this might be a specific situation that you had really, really high hopes for. You were expecting amazing things out of this particular, uh, out of this particular person or this situation. You were expecting, um, to have maybe build something in the long run or have huge plans, but things have turned upside down for you. You feel like your world is turned upside down. And this might have to do with a lot of, um, events that are going on in the world that will affect this decision or will affect this situation. So try not to, overthink it too much and look too deeply into it in terms of oh what what am i doing wrong or am i not the um, am i not good for this position or am i not right for this person don't overlook too much into it this is a time to pause and rethink what you're going to do in the long run Okay, and both options that you that you have are both options are disappointed. You might be put in a position when you have to choose, and you're not really excited about none of them. Nothing, uh, nothing gives you that spark, that enthusiasm. You're like, eh, I, I choose option A, I choose option B. Either way, I'm not really happy with it. Uh, but there's a sense of strong disappointment here that is going to start in the second week. Uh, especially in terms of relationships and people that you know. It can be um, a friendship, it can be uh, a love relationship or work relationship. It's just someone that you had high hopes for, that you truly trusted and you truly had a, a strong connection. Because I'm feeling in the last week with the Ten of Swords that you will feel overwhelmed. You will feel like, wow, I can't believe that this person has done this to me. If I lost trust in them, how can I trust someone else and the sense of just feeling like you're the victim and everything is falling onto you and you can't make a decision, you can't move forward because you're so sad and overwhelmed and stressed out with everything that's going on. And even the, um, even visually, this card is very, it, it has a lot of, it, it just gives you that anxiety just looking at it from all the swords and the person feeling like they're being attacked in all different ways. But as you see, even though the, the night looks pretty dark, there's still light at the end. Okay. There's still a new beginning. And when we, when we are at the 10th point in tarot, it's an indication of something has to end in order for you to start new with with an ace to start a new chapter and this is showing me that you're not you don't really have that that courage that mental clarity to make decisions for yourself to cut things and and be straightforward and say whatever you want to say and start that new beginning this situation is toxic it's not healthy for you it's not good you need to make a decision procrastinating, making excuses, um, keep lingering in that sadness that's not going to help. It's not going to help you move forward. It's not going to help you feel better. Sometimes you have to cut ties. Sometimes you have to make a decision as difficult as it is and you have to move forward. Okay, from the from the Ten of Swords, we move into the Ace. The, the next step is the Ace of Swords. And uh, and the Ace of Swords is all about you taking back your power, having the clarity, the mental clarity, not living in this fog anymore and saying, this is what I want to do. Okay, this is where you stand. This is what I want to do. Being upfront about it. If you're disappointed, sometimes... Things happen, people disappoint us, different situations happen. You have a lot of things to be grateful and blessed uh, and, and feel blessed for. With a, with a nine of pentacles, I see you guys have a very comfortable life. So focus on the positive. Try to not um, let yourself feel down and move move forward also for those of you who are feeling sick or not you're not feeling you might have some issues or or mm, something that you've been battling in for for a long time don't get discouraged okay maybe talk to another uh, doctor get a, a second opinion try different therapy try something else because whatever you're doing right now i'm feeling with a ten of of, of swords there is just giving you 
instant release or a, a, a small improvement, small release, but it's not really solving the issue. It's not really going to the core and fixing whatever problem you have. So in order to improve that, you have to have the courage yourself to be able to say, okay, I'm not going to let this beat me. I'm not going to let this disease, I'm not going to let this, this, uh, this problem beat me. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to survive. I'm going to make sure that I fight and, and I find other options for myself to improve, to improve my health and improve uh, this whole situation that I'm in. Okay. And from the Oracle of um, our angels and our spirit guides, the message is Oracle. Wait for important information. Don't rush into any decisions. Just wait. Wait to hear what other people have to say. Uh, look around you. See what's going on in the world. Don't. Uh, this is not the time to uh, make any huge decisions. Some of you might decide, might, might have plans to travel the world or relocate, move to another city. Some of you might have been waiting to hear back from a job into another, another, another state or another country because you want to move so bad. This is not the time for that. Okay, there's a lot of insecurity and uncertainty around you and just pause and wait for important information. Also, the oracle is telling me if, if you guys are into oracle cards or tarot, do that as well. Try to, um, you know, shuffle the cards, get ask for a message, see what the cards give you personally for yourself, because this is a general reading. Also, I would say pay attention to your dreams and see if, you, if you're constantly having good, positive dreams, you, you're dreaming of a beautiful place or of healthy children, healthy animals, jewelry, anything expensive, or it's always, if, if every time you have this dream, you wake up and you feel in peace and you feel this sense of uh, tranquility that's all good news that's all an indication that that good things are are going to happen for you but if you have bad dreams kind of like nightmares scary things things that make you feel uncomfortable or make you have this sense of um, anxiety or unease when you wake up then you might have to start seeing like what areas of your life you can prepare uh, if if something if something would to happen or if that fear can come can come to can come to life. Okay, always as I said, always during during September. Don't rush. We're gonna hear a lot of news by the end of September and the beginning of October. So just wait way to make any any decisions and from the oracle of love and romance the messages forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so it's it's important to forgive and move on okay and forgiving is mostly for yourself than for the other person because you need that that forgiving to have that forgiveness in your heart in order for you to just accept it whatever the situation might be accept it and move forward okay and it says forgiving and learning it doesn't say forgive and forget okay so you're always going to remember what the person has done and you're not going to give them a second chance to hurt you again you're not going to give them a second chance to do the same thing but you are ready now to forgive them so you can move on with your life because the 10 remember we talked about the 10 of swords being stuck in that mentality of wow how did this person do this to me I'm so disappointed. I can't believe that they were doing all this behind my back and I wasn't aware of and I didn't see things clearly. But, uh, but having that, carrying that around with you is just going to stop you from living your life and from enjoying your life. And also you need that that forgiveness to improve situations in, in the future. Okay, and everything, it's a learning process 
curve. Some stuff, uh, some things happen in our life just so we can learn our lessons, maybe not be as trusty to towards other people. We have the symbolism of angels here indicating that in a way this was karmic it was meant to happen so so you can move forward and you can uh, improve yourself okay you can become a better version of yourself someone who has a, a better balance of judgment of how how people are treating you or how um, how sincere they are you can see them better now that you have this the situation that after the situation happened to you and from the oracle of money and the law of attraction, the messages appreciation and gratitude are different vibrational states. When you feel gratitude, often you're looking at a difficulty that you have overcome, but there is still some of that struggle of vibration present. The state of appreciation is seeing whatever you're looking at through the eyes of source. You could walk down a crowded street with all kinds of things that a lot of other people will find reasons to criticize or worry about and you would not have access to them because your vibration of appreciation is picking out for for you things of a different vibrational nature okay so both are great being grateful it's 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 a great it increases your vibration for sure but having appreciation, it's taking it to the next level because you can be grateful and say, oh, I'm grateful I am I was able to overcome this or I'm grateful for my life or I'm grateful for my friends. But at the same time, if something goes wrong around you, you can still complain about it and focus on the negative. But if you are appreciative of the fact that you're alive, of the fact that you're healthy, of the fact that you have all these blessings financially around you. If you have this sense of appreciation for life itself and you're constantly trying to shift your attention into that appreciation mode, okay, well, this bad thing is happening, but I still appreciate the fact that I was able to share some beautiful moments with this person. I'm, I'm grateful I was able to see the truth. I, I, I can appreciate just seeing the truth and learning and moving forward. That is taking it to a different level. So appreciate, gratitude can be here and appreciation is even higher. It's even a more strong and higher frequency. Okay, and the more you appreciate, the higher your frequency, the more things you will receive in your life or events in your life. You will attract more things to be appreciated for and and, and uh, to be grateful for. But as I said, sometimes we have gratitude only for things that we have, for difficulties that we have overcome. So we relate in a way gratitude with a struggle with having overcome a struggle but appreciation it's just is that's just it you appreciate something you feel it in your heart that that's that that thing has value for you and you appreciate it without being attached to anything uh negative per se Okay, my friends, this is all the messages that I had for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, please share it with other Libras as well. And uh, I see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.